Our gathering song is number 792, Christ Be Our Light, number 792. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to oh, Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. The angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth in Ophrah that belonged to Joash the Abbey Israelite. All his son Gideon was feeding out wheat in the wine press to save it from the Midianites. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, the Lord is with you, O champion. Gideon said to him, My Lord, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are his wondrous deeds of which his father told us when they said, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? For now the Lord has abandoned us and has delivered us into the power of Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and save Israel from the power of Midian. It is I who send you. But Gideon answered him, Please, my Lord, how can I save Israel? My family is the lowest in Manasseh, and I am the most insignificant in my father's house. I shall be with you, the Lord said to him, and you will cut down the Midian to the last man. Gideon answered, if I find favor with you, give me a sign that you are speaking with me. Do not depart from here, I pray, until I come back to you. 
and bring out my offering and set it before you. He answered, I will rate your return. So Gideon went off and prepared a kid and a measure of flour in the form of unleavened cakes. Putting the meat in a basket and broth in a pot, he brought them out underneath the terry bent and presented them. The angel of God sent to him, Take the meat and unleavened cakes and lay them on this rock, then pour out the broth. When he had done so, the angel of the Lord stretched out the tip of the staff he held and touched the meat and unleavened cakes. Thereupon a fire came up from the rocks that consumed the meat and unleavened cakes, and the angel of the Lord disappeared from sight. Gideon, now aware that it had been the angel of the Lord, said, Alas, Lord God, that I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. The Lord answered him, Be calm, do not fear, you shall not die. So Gideon built there an altar to the Lord and called it Yahweh Shalom, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord Lord speaks of peace peace to his his people. people. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people and to his faithful ones and to those who put him in their hope. The The Lord Lord speaks of peace peace to his his people. people. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out from the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The The Lord Lord speaks of peace peace to his his people. people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord Lord speaks of peace peace to his his people. people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to our Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, It's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men, this is impossible. But for God, All things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you have followed me in the new age. When the Son of Man is seated at his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel and everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. 
but many who are first will be last and the last will be first the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ The liturgy of today gives us two messages. First it says, it's not easy for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, one thing we have to notice here, the gospel is not against having wealth but here the question is a person of possession very often rely on what he has rather than the one true God or it could serve as a stumbling block for one to trust in the Lord and secondly, to Peter's question, Jesus says, whoever gives up things for the sake of the kingdom, for the sake of the kingdom, will be given a hundredfold back. You know, like years back, when Mother Teresa was given one of the commentators caught this gospel passage. You know, she gave up her country and came and sold the poorest of the poor. At her funeral, millions of people paid her homage. And again, in her lifetime, she was bestowed with, including Nobel Prize, of so many recognitions. So that's what exactly Jesus says. If we give up anything for the sake of the kingdom, it will come back to you in hundredfold. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, the liturgy of today reminds us to place our trust and confidence in the one true God and the more we become generous for the sake of the kingdom more will be given to us <clears throat> Let's place our praise and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings for Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the leaders of the church. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that Christians all over the world may share some of their resources with those who are in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The poor, the needy, the abandoned may find comfort and consolation in the one true God, the giver of all things. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. All those have asked and in need of our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our parents, family, friends, we pray to the Lord. 
In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Teresa Longman, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. Through the liturgy of today, you remind us that you are a generous giver. Grant us the grace, give us a generous heart that we may share with others from the resources that we have. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in you may be acceptable to God, uh, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the great glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ. Uh, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you send us the Redeemer to love like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your son by whose obedience we have been restored to these gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience and so Lord with all the angels and saints we to give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim
O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy and shall we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. through him and with him and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Of the service command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, <coughs> thy will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant God peace and unity in accordance with the world, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him. Who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not I'm worthy not that you share your heart tomorrow. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe. Prayer for Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that confirmed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and uh, ever. Amen. We shall pray together. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in marriage. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. 
And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Our sending hymn is number 772, Glory and Praise to Our God, number 772.